2017, the new Ocean Kayak Tridents came out. I thought a great way to promote it would be to go on a long distance tour. The plan was to paddle and fish Florida for a few months, then paddle and fish my way home to Virginia. This is the video from the tour, the good times, the bad times, everything from this tour, the Trident Fishing Tour. So today I'm launching out of Chucklehusky. Of course, I'm in the park, so I have to I have to get permits, and I'm legit in while I'm in the park now. Uh, Renegade days are over. Today I go to Rabbit Key, which is a pretty quick three-hour paddle out. Um, I'll take the current out, and I'll fish today. Tomorrow it's about a 10-mile paddle to Picnic Key. I'll get up and get going before the winds start, and when I get to Picnic Key, I'll try to fish around there, and then a couple more miles outside of Picnic Key. I'm in free water. I'm in uh, no parkland. Just stopped coming out of Rabbit Key Pass. Uh, I'm almost out. I'm gonna do some fishing when I get out there. First, I think I'm gonna wrap around the island, uh, check the, the the spots. All right, this is uh, Rabbit Key. The, the spit point is over there where the Port of John is. That's where everybody mostly camps. This is a spot out of the wind. It's on the east facing side. The wind's starting to pick up, and I'm just kind of hanging here, catching lady fishing, Jackson trout. on that. Tomorrow's basically a travel day. I think the winds winds have been coming up in the afternoon pretty hard so I have to paddle pretty pretty steadily in the morning. I mean it sure is chilly but it sure is pretty out there. I'm at Picnic Key. I'm back here on the back side of this spit. I'm gonna get my tent set up here and then I'm gonna fish all this area, all back in through here. All right, good morning from Picnic Key. So today I get out of the park. Today I finally get to go do what I what I like to do. And what I like to do is, you know, find, a, find some spots that are that is really fishy and hang there and learn it and fish the fuck out of it. That's what I'm trying to do. And so far, I've been on a month, and I just keep, I keep having to move. I keep having to move because of the winds. I keep having to move because of the, the regulation. So now I just feel like I'm finally going to get into an area that I can do what I've been, been wanting to do for a month. I want to get into this groove and fish. Another cold front's coming in two days. So what I need to do is water up before that front comes, so I don't have to do it through the weekend. There's a spot that Dan told me about that the guy, a guy has built a house on on one of these keys outside the park. I'm close to it, so I'm gonna go by there and try to see if I can get some water. That's what I'm gonna try to do today and fish as soon as the no seams get out of here. They're fucking everywhere. These motherfuckers ain't going away. Ah, I'm tired of sitting in my tent. <laughs> I am leaving the park. This is off the the actual Everglades Park, and this guy's built this little hut. I'm gonna take about four gallons of water to set me up for the next two days. Now that I got waters up, my game plan is uh, is now changed for concentrating this area. So let me go that way. Maybe I'll go around those islands. awesome. I'm so fucking happy right here. Awesome. The raccoons stole my Procure. They actually came in and stole my Procure and ate up the lures that ha the the plastics that had procure on it 
I had them sitting here underneath my bungee and they came by and ate the rest of that and then um, stole the bottle. <laughs> Bad neighborhood. <laughs> Holy shit, they're really uh, ramping up this forecast for this storm coming in tonight. Talking about quarter inch hail, 50 mile an hour gusts with the, with the thunderstorms. Eey, this might be an interesting one too. I think I'm getting on the right side of the island, but it's gonna be wild no matter what. Wind sustained, wind speeds over the local waters of 20 to 25 knots are expected by this afternoon. Any thunderstorms that develop today could produce strong wind gusts of 45 to 55 miles an hour. Hail the strongest thunderstorms today could produce hail up to the size of a quarter. I just noticed this, not only did the raccoons eat, you know, take my procure, eat my baits, they also ate the shrimp, the DOA shrimp off of the hook on the rod. Finally got a fish. Oh boy. And it's a red. I think it's a red. Sure ain't fighting like a red. There it goes. I am thankful. I saw him. Oh boy. I am thankful. It's a red. That's gonna peel off like this shit. Nice. Man, they don't, that's not fighting like a normal reds. I mean, that stunned them. There he goes. Ready to go? Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, no, 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 that's a bad hook. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, Amazing. That's amazing. 20 incher. Coming back. He's coming back. Fuck yeah, he's about ready to go. Fuck yeah. Oh hell yeah. Man, I thought he was a goner. Okay.
20 inch spec. Good to go. Spec, 20 inch spec, 20 inch permit or pompano, I'm not sure what the hell that was. Let's see what else. If anything, or the wind starts blowing, I go to my pants. So here I'm looking for the best spot, this is on Panther Key, the best spot to hunker down with the winds that are going to be blowing at 40 miles an hour from that way. I think I got a pretty good spot right here. It's a good flat spot. I think I'm pretty good. Um, a couple rocks I got to move and that's about it. I, I passed on a spot back here because uh, there was a, two dead trees right east of it. So if the winds actually came and blew enough to blow trees down, that would have that would came down on me. Moved down, I'm way further down from the point, but there's a it's dropped it drops off really fast right here. See if you can see the the where it gets darker it drops off fast and it's three foot right here so it's pretty deep right along the beach. So I'll be able to fish here too. I'm seeing lots of fish. I feel pretty good about this spot. I'm mainly just trying to get out of the wind and that's the east wind and it's coming directly from that direction. Well, I'm tied down. All I gotta do is get in, get in my tent and cinch up the uh, rain fly. Sure is making a lot of noise. I'm nervous. Ah, just hold on. Hopefully this brand new tent holds in. Just keeps looking worse. Oh, here we go. Lightning coming from that direction, swooping front edge coming down there. Yep. Just got in my tent as the uh, rain started drizzling, uh, but it's right there. It's right at my back door. It's starting to crash down all around me. Lightning just hit real close. There's this thing would hurry up and come through. Jeez. <laughs> There's a lot of lightning to this. Uh, there's a couple ground strikes already kind of close. Here it comes. It's getting way darker now. Feels like I'm a little bit past it right now. Feels like it's gone over. I hope so. <sighs> There's that storm. I wanted to be out there for sunset, but the no seams are gone crazy outside. As soon as it rains and, it, and it, the calm after a rainstorm, it's no seam time. And it sucks because I really want to be outside. I really want to be fishing. And there's no breeze right now, absolutely nothing, and the nose seams are just swarming out there. Um, bugs ain't bad out here because it's actually chilly, so the bug, they'll keep the bugs down. A little bit of breeze coming right off this beach, too, so as soon as I get away from my tent, I'm good. But damn sure pretty. Try to fish a little bit. The biting flies here are so bad, it's just a non stop attack. So today, my tent broke again. I was just slipping off my rain fly and unhooking the pieces that were connected to it. Uh, the tent itself felt too tight. Um, so, you know, Dan's gonna bring me that other tent pole Tuesday or Wednesday. The winds are supposed to drop out tomorrow afternoon, so I'm, I am gonna leave this beach tomorrow afternoon and take this east wind and see how far I can get. It's close to Goodland, I gotta rewater in a couple of days. I'm gonna fish some too. Look at the charts and see what I got going on, and then uh, just get there. It's not gonna be hard. I'm not that far. I'm a half day away, and I've got three days to get there. <laughs> so I'm gonna fish. So good morning, good morning. I'm gonna get off this beach t 
today winds are going to lighten up enough 10 to 15 which is not 20 east so i can just get across the way getting off this island um i need to stay away from these populated islands or these bigger islands on friday saturday and sunday last night lots of drama went down with i guess locals and these kids over here that that uh camped out uh, so this is gullivan key i love this spot i'm already in love look at uh, just the mangrove patches right there and I already made a couple casts stoked i'm here for today i'm not going any further morning from gullivan's key Here's my plan for today. I think I'm gonna go to Turtle Key, and this next key over a mile away. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, Snook. All right. Thought that was a spot. Little baby Snook, Snooklet. Thank you, sir. Fifteen inch. God damn, this is skinny as fuck. Ready? You alright? Alright. Right. Right. I can get a little closer. Then these bigger ones might be on the other side. Oh yeah, here goes another one. Yeah, I found a spot finally. I thought that look was gonna look produce, productive. Sure looked like it was gonna look productive. A little baby one. Oh, they're scrappy at this size. Oh, hanging on your boat. Oh, hanging on your boat. Pretty, pretty yellow fins. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oh, that's a bigger one. Jesus, see that? Oh yeah. Right to the boat. Thank you, sir. Stay under. Don't be fucking jumping out anymore. Ah! That's alright. That's alright. That was a good one. Alright. Game stepping up a little here, a little bit. These weren't on. Snook. Fuck yeah. Nice one too. Woo! Nice rolling. Keep them on. How about that? Oh shit, that hurt. You know right? So I got a cool spot here. Um, right here between these islands. Um, this is a little spit that's closed off between this island and that island. Flat spot up way up here. So made a cast, hooked a snook right there. So after I clean my camera, I'm gonna 
set up and make a bunch of more casts. Morning, morning. Tent pole broke again last night. I barely touched that thing. I think I got a defective tent. The, those poles were just so too tight. Yeah, I really don't even want to go in today. I've got enough water to go another day, but that bag of trash is ridiculous. That's a huge bag of trash I gotta get rid of. That's a sail. That's the most saily thing on the back of the boat. <laughs> Flounder. Flounder. Small one. What was it? Flounder. Okay. Yep. This is a Monday. Super flat. This is a great spit, but of course this is a this is a no-go on weekends. The main channel is right there. This is steep beach. The water is super deep right there, so I can get out of here at low tide. 